Hey guys, Frank here, and I'm going to introduce to you a new Tedatools product, the Case Air. Now, we all know Tedatools, right? Those are the guys that make tethering solutions that really work. Now, let me first start out. Why should I shoot tethered? Very simple. Imagine being in a photo shoot and taking a picture. You really like the picture, and you want to show your client or your students. And you go like, look at this, look at this, look at this, cool, right? That doesn't really look professional, right? And the problem is, it takes you out of your workflow. So what you would like to have is that those images appear on an iPhone, iPad, any other smart device, or of course, preferably, your desktop computer, MacBook, or Mac Pro, or PC. So there are many solutions that already do this, and Tether Tools deliver the cables for it, Tether tables, and all the other stuff you need. But sometimes you don't want to use cables for the very simple reason. Imagine doing a workshop or photo shoot on location. And you have to switch between different locations and the floor is dirty or wet. And those cables get all tangled up and you, you fall over the cables. You have a lot of people running around and it's just a mess sometimes. In the studio again, no problem, but on location, I would prefer to shoot tethered via wireless. Now, up until now, you could use, of course, for example, extra grips for your Canon or Nikon, or you use other solutions that you mount on top of your camera. But most of those solutions are pretty bulky or expensive. The Case Air solves all your problems. Of course, I can talk a lot about it, but let's just look at how it works and how you connect it to this Canon camera. Okay, so now we connected the Case Air to the Canon 5DS. And you can just use your USB cable, and of course, the Tether Tools solution also comes with all the cables you ever need. Now, normally you would place it on top of your camera if you don't shoot with smart strobes. Now, there's a difference. There are smart strobes and there are dumb strobes. Now, normally your hot shoe will only give a trigger signal to its trigger to fire the strobes. And then you can use stuff like an extension bar or whatever you do to extend your hot shoe. But there are nowadays also smart triggers, like the Allengrom Skyport system you see here. And they, they talk back to your strobes. They use ODS, they use high sync, and then you really need a full wired hot shoe. So in that case, you can use the Terra Tools Case Air like we connected it here. Okay, so let's start up the app. As you can see on my iPhone, the app is already started, and you can see that I've connected the Canon EOS DS, 5DS. Now you can just click here. It's connecting to the camera, and now you can actually see in a moment, if I press here, that I actually have a live view. So now we see Steffi, and oh, it's a wide-angle lens, so you can see everybody there. And let's turn the live view off. <coughs> now the only thing I have to do is when I shoot tethered, is actually press the shutter button, and the image will come in. And it goes pretty fast. So as you can see here, that's the first image. Press again, press again. Let's change the camera position a little bit, make it more interesting. There we go. And you can see all the images coming in. So this is the solution for iPhone. And it works the same on your iPad, of course, or other smart devices that are compatible. You can also do it to your Mac or your PC. But I'm not going to show you that in this video, because in all honesty, it's still a pre-release sample, and we don't have the connection to the Mac or PC yet. But they're working on it, and as soon as it's released, that of course will also be on the market. So when you're like me, totally in love with shooting tethered, because you want a direct connection, and you don't want dirty cables on location, and you want to be able to switch very fast, without any doubt, check out the Case Air from Tether Tools. It's a great solution and it's available November 1st, 2016. I absolutely love it and I can't wait for the Sony version. Thank you so very much for watching guys and see you in the next video.